This is from the towers. You carry that with you. But not too long ago, we had Chris Hemsworth fighting baddies in Asgard, and now he's fighting the Taliban in Afghanistan. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. what's going on everyone thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for 12 strong i really do appreciate it but before we get into the review help your boy out by clicking that subscribe button click the bell so you can be notified when i make uploads and give me that thumbs up let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes so now we have 12 strong it stars michael pena michael shannon and chris hemsworth it is based on a true story and also based on a book that was written by doug stanton called horse soldiers it is being directed by nikolai fulksig and the only other movie that he directed before 12 strong is something that came out last year called xville and there is absolutely no information on that movie when i did try to look it up and what 12 strong is about like i said it is uh, based on a true story it takes place one month particularly after the events of september uh the 11th of 2001 where the united states was um uh, attacked by terrorists can't believe I forgot that and the planes flew in the building and about the movie it doesn't really waste any time telling us something that we already know and kind of just kind of breezes over that and just kind of gets into the perspective that Chris Hemsworth is in and the special forces and these green berets uh, they are deployed over the world across the world to Afghanistan to team up with the Northern Alliance to fight the Taliban and when Chris Hemsworth and his 11 team, his 11 members on his team are going to Afghanistan, they have to team up, team up with another Afghan general by the name of Abdul Rashid Dostum. And um, he's he's a very important figure in this movie. And I'll touch on that in just a second. But early on, what I really did like about the film is how um, it did not waste his time going over things that we already knew. We knew that there was a terror attack in New York over the Twin Towers. And it really focuses on uh, some of the like, you know, Chris Hemsworth family, Michael uh, Shannon's family and also Chris Hemsworth family and how they're being deployed and how they have to give that information to their family and leave their loved ones. And some, are, you know, kind of knew what they signed up for. Some are that's kind of a hard pill for them to swallow. And for example, like Michael Shannon's uh, family. They're having a really hard time of just taking it in like, OK, are you going to come back? You know, don't make any promises and things like that. So it really does a great job early on in the film to kind of get you attached to the characters and actually, you know, have you feel, you know, you just really care about them. You feel sorry for them. You don't like the position that they're in. But once they get over to Afghanistan, this is kind of where things kind of went slow for me and fell apart. And I'll just kind of go ahead and say now that if this movie was not based on a true story, I don't think that I would enjoy it as much as I did. But me knowing that it was a true story, you know, I couldn't really help myself, but, uh, you know, do nothing else but respect it. But, you know, this is a war film and we get to see all these soldiers in battle. And for the most part. Um, the action was just really not that engaging. The thing that I really impressed me a lot was the interaction that Chris Hemsworth, that he was a, somebody named Captain Mitch Nelson. Uh, he was over the 12 or the 11 men over in Afghanistan. And there's another gentleman by the name of Navi Nagana. Now, Navid Naganban, he's the general Abdul Rashid Dostum that had to team up with Chris Hemsworth. That was the most entertaining part of the film. What I found most interesting is that when Chris Hemsworth went over there to Afghanistan, he had to team up with another Afghan general by the name of Dostum. And of course, it's two completely different lifestyles, two completely different customs and perspectives. But they have to work together for the greater good to defeat the Taliban. You know, like, but I said, they're just so different. So just kind of seeing them bounce off each other in the dialogue and between those characters and those groups, you know, that was really intriguing to me. Initially, Dostum was not that receptive to Chris Hemsworth and the rest of his team. Just kind of like, 
you know, he had to really just kind of prove himself. And he kind of knew just like I can just look in your eyes and kind of tell uh, Chris Hemsworth or uh, Captain Mitch Nelson that you've never killed anybody before. I know your other men have. I can just tell by looking at them. But you, you know, I don't trust you. And you're just really going to have to prove yourself. And that, spe- that aspect of the film is really what I appreciated the most. And also Chris Hemsworth character, Mitch Nelson also learned a lot from Dostum. He was just kind of saying like, look, you're a soldier. You know, I'm not a soldier. None of my men, my, none of my Afghan men are soldiers. We're all warriors. Stop using your head to go into battle and start using your heart. And then we learn later on in the film that that was to a great benefit of them and actually helped them succeed. But the, really the main problem with the film that I had was the entire, all the battles in this movie, none of them seem realistic at all. Um, there was not one uh, moment in this entire movie to where I was at the edge of my seat, to where I was thrilled, to where, you know, I was in suspense or in awe. I never, not one time, felt a sense of danger, even in the slightest. Um, like, they made a joke early on in the film or one of the first and second battles, like, okay, we just bombed this group of Taliban here. Why are we not attacking them? Um, you know, while they're down and scattered. And Dostum was like, we'll just do it tomorrow. And one of the soldiers from America was like, what was this like a dress rehearsal? And that's kind of how some of the battles felt like they were just kind of like walking through it. I've never been in war myself before or engaged in battle. So I really can't just comment too much on how realistic it was. But just when I look at other war movies that are based on a true story, you know, those seem much more intense other than this one right here. But then again, I've never been in war before. But that was just, I have to be honest, something that really just turned me off. And like the last scene of of action in this movie, I mean, there was bullets and rockets and grenades and rocket launchers and uh, kamikaze suicide people all over the place. But while I was watching, I knew that the 12 men led by Chris Hemsworth were going to make it out of them out of there alive. I just had a feeling that they was going to get back home. I mean, maybe for a second or two, he's like, OK, is this person dead or they're going to make it? But at the same time, I was just never like, oh, man, oh, crap. Like, oh, man, I, I really want them to get back to their family. I just kind of just knew in the back of my head that they were going to get back. And that's just something that kind of just turned me off for the film. Um, it was still great. And I, I mean, it was still good. I'll say that. And I really think you should see it. And I don't mean any disrespect to the uh, the t- uh, 12 brave soldiers that went over to the horse soldiers. Thank you very much for serving your country. I got nothing but respect for you. And I really do appreciate it. But the way that your characters was portrayed in this movie, it, like I said, just really didn't seem that realistic to me. And other than Chris Hemsworth and Dostum, you know, going back and forth, you know, that was really just the most entertaining part. If I had to rate 12 strong out of a one out of 10, I would give it a six out of 10. Yes, a six out of 10. But guys, that's just my opinion. Have you seen, excuse me, have you seen 12 Strong or do you want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you don't, that's fine. Go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go to my website, check me out there, bookmark it, and also look me up on social media. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter is right there at the bottom of your screen. And also, I provided a link to all that good stuff down in the description box below. And guys, like I've always said or recently said, it would really help me out if you like my Facebook page. But guys, thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review of 12 Strong starring Michael Pena, Michael Shannon, and Chris Hemsworth. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Hidavery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.